Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And I'm here in San Diego. Uh, it's really nice here. I'm getting prepared for the Adobe Max conference uh, starting on Wednesday. Um, I will be at the pre conference as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial while I'm here um, in my hotel. And uh, I've been walking around San Diego, it's great. Uh, but it, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on having fun with the SVG Draw widget and a few uh, tips and techniques that you can use uh, when using the widget. And here I have this vector graphic that we're going to draw with the SVG Draw widget, uh, which I actually got at selfie.com, and I'll show that in a second. But if I click on the SVG here, we can see it draws with the SVG Draw widget. The fill fades in and the stroke fades out. So one more time, we can see it draws and then the fill fades in and the stroke fades out. So we're gonna reproduce this in this video tutorial and I also have another um, example with fonts and I wanted to showcase this because fonts, they're a bit different than, um, than vectors. So we can see it there, use for you and then it fills and we can select any fill, fill color actually for the fill. Um, here I'll select this blue and we can change the stroke and fill color and all that good stuff. So there I changed the stroke color, I didn't change the fill color, and it fades out, and then I'll change the fill color here. So I'll enable fill color, and yeah, we'll leave it at blue there, or we'll change it to another color so it's a little bit different than the stroke. And I'll preview, and there we go. So you can change the color and the fill changes as well, and we then we have the stroke fade out. So this first vector here was downloaded at selfie.com slash design freebies. All right. And you can download any of these, um, these items here, uh, either by sharing it, uh, a Facebook post, or, you know, it's a couple dollars if you did want to purchase it. Um, and some are just totally free. So this vector graphic um, here, you can click buy now. It says yuck. I'm not sure why I decided to choose that, but I thought it was a cool vector here. And then you click buy now and you can you know enter your email and then download it so this is where i got the vector and the fonts or the font that i used i got at graphicburger.com and it's this here the scrap the script fonts family or fonts bundle um, i did purchase this but it has a lot of nice kind of cursive uh, fonts that look really nice uh, so i just wanted to showcase that real quick uh, before demonstrating this uh, in the video tutorial yeah, so in this uh, tutorial, we're going to recreate this drawing here with the SVG draw widget and this one as well. So I'll click one more time there. And there we go. So it's pretty simple to recreate this. Um, I'll just go into my finder. And here I have the yuck free vector dot zip. So I'll double click to unzip. And then I'll open the folder. And here we have a few different vector files. Uh, for this one, I can just use the vector hand drawn um, .ai file. So I'll right click, open with Adobe Illustrator, and I'll say yes. And here we have the, the vector. So all I have to do here is go to File, Export, Export As, and then I'll find that folder. I have a folder here. And then here for the format, uh, instead of PNG, we wanna say SVG. And then I'll just say, um, vector example and I'll click export and uh, you can have it here here I have it three decimal places two or three is, is fine and I'll click OK all right and uh, one thing actually let me go back and save it export as uh, SVG and here we could set we can see it says use artboards um, you don't really want this checked unless you want the, the artboard the whole artboard here to be used as we can see, it's all white around here, so I don't want the artboard to be used. I want it to clip around the image here. So by not selecting uh, Use Artboard, I'm just gonna have the vector and not all that white space around it. If I were to click on Use Artboards, um, it would have that white space around the vector. Okay, so now I'll go back into Adobe Muse. I'll go to File, New Site. I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. So now I'll go to the library panel and I'll type in SVG here. I'll bring it down and you might notice that the screen is a bit different. I'm on a different computer uh, this time because I'm not at my usual computer. Uh, but here I'm drawing the SVG, uh, dragging and dropping the SVG at first. 
Um, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And then here I'll bring in the SVG draw widget. Since I'm not adding any on scroll, as we can see we have the, let me drag this out here. As we can see we have the add first and the add first with on scroll. On scroll is for more advanced settings when you want to trigger the SVG draw on scroll. Um, if you were to have on scroll and on load uh, SVG drawings, then you would just need one at first, which would be the at first with on scroll. If you don't have any more advanced on scroll um, triggers or animations or yeah drawings, then you can just add in the SVG draw at first. Um, and then if you did want to use more, some of the more advanced on scroll, then you'd bring in the SVG, SVG draw widget on scroll. But for this one, I'm just going to have it on load when it first when the website first loads. So I'm going to bring in the SVG draw widget right in here. So we added the add first at the top, and then we bring in the SVG draw widget. Okay, so here I'm going to click in the widget options. I'm going to select an SVG image, and I'm going to go to that folder. Here we have the SVG vector example, so I'll double click. And there we have the SVG. It's that simple. Um, you can do this with, with any SVG image. Um, there with fonts it's a bit different and I'll showcase that in a second. So there we have the SVG um, I have the enable stroke color um, enabled so the stroke color is going to be this dark blue um, The stroke width I'm going to set it to 0.5 so it's a bit thinner um, I do want to add fill after draw so I'll check add fill here after draw and I don't want to enable a fill color because I want it to use the, the fill colors it has here and I do want to fade out the stroke after it draws so after um, after it draws the fade out speed is going to be one second. The, fit, the fill fade in speed is going to be one second as well. Then we'll go to the options here. Uh, we're going to have a delayed draw. So um, each each path is going, going to animate in kind of a delayed uh, in a delayed fashion. And it's going to um, draw in that way. Or we can do async, which all the lines start together, all the paths. And then they finish together or one by one, where each path uh, animates one by one. Um, we do want it to auto start. Um, if you select in viewport, it's kind of like on scroll, but without really the more advanced on scroll. In viewport, will just start drawing the SVG once it's visible in the browser. So you don't really have control at what point it starts drawing, but once it's fully visible in the browser, it starts to draw, which is kind of a nice on scroll way to draw the SVG. Uh, yeah, but the on scroll widgets are a bit more advanced. And then for the uh, animation timing function, we'll do ease. Pad timing function, we'll do ease as well. Um, you can just do, you know, pick from a few different easings here for the animation timing and the path timing functions here. Um, we'll redraw the SVG on click um, there and on window resize is fine as well. Uh, we don't have any play buttons, so we don't have to worry about that. And more info is just more information on how to use the widget. All right, so there we've, add, we've set all the options, um, the stroke and fill. So now I'll uncheck design mode. All right, so now I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and there we can see it draws. Looks good. Perfect. So that's it. It's as simple as that. You can do that with any SVG uh, illustration or vector. Um, and just to change the colors around a little bit, I'm going to go to my CC Libraries, and I'm going to add these colors to my Swatches panel. And I'll change the stroke color as well, and we'll change the fill color just for fun. So the stroke color, I'll set it to kind of this light blue, and then the fill color will say kind of this darker blue here. Or we'll say, we'll say green. No, yeah, darker blue will probably look better. All right, so let's preview that. Oh, and I want to, yeah, did I enable fill color? Yep, enable fill color. I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. And there we see the stroke is light blue, and then it fills in with dark blue. So I kind of like the colors of the fill, so I don't want a color for the for the uh, the fill color. So I'll, I'll uncheck that there, and we can set the stroke to be thicker. So, so I'll say one, and I'll preview in the browser, and there we go. So it's a bit thicker, and then it fades in, and the stroke fades out. Looks good. So let's just pick a few more options. Let's do um, async where all the paths will, will start at the same time and finish at the same time as well. We see it's all drawing nicely together and boom. There we go. And then we have one by one right in here, one by one. 
and go to file preview page and browser and it draws one by one there we go and it fades out cool so that is the vector here um, again it was uh, downloaded here at selfie you can type in selfie slash design freebies if you want to check out some of the freebies they have uh, there uh, so the next thing i'll move on to is uh, drawing text or drawing a font um, in the first video that I created for the SVG draw, I kind of went over that, but I'll go over that again here in this video tutorial. So I'm going to go into my finder. Oops, didn't want to move that there. Um, and here I have the October scripts font bundle. So I'll just unzip it and I'll double click in here. Here I have the fonts and let me look at all fonts. So I'm just going to randomly pick. There's quite a few fonts in here. So I'll pick Solita script. Let's preview the image and see how that looks. That looks pretty cool. Let's check out another one actually really quick. Uh, let's try this one. All right, yeah, that looks cool. Uh, Billa Nieva. All right, so we're gonna use this font here. So I'm gonna double click on the .ttf. You can click the .otf or .ttf. Um, I'll do .ttf here. So I'll double click to install it on my computer. And the one thing, um, there, yeah, it's just installing. Uh, the one thing I wanna mention, um, when I downloaded, this font bundle um, it came with the web fonts which i haven't seen much before in fonts that i've purchased or that i found so i think adobe muse might be getting a bit more popular because this is in adobe muse these, these are the font files that you need to install into adobe muse so maybe you know we're going to see more fonts that have this nice feature that says web fonts where you can just drag and drop these three files into adobe muse by going to file um, add remove web fonts and then you go to self-hosted web fonts, and then you can just drag and drop a .woff, .eot, and .svg, and then you can use it as a web font in Adobe Muse, which is recommended over system fonts because web fonts allow search engines to know what the website is about. So that's a nice feature. You don't have to convert it through like a, um, a font converter to get the web fonts. You just, it has the folder here. Um, so that's a nice feature there. So I've installed, um, yeah, so moving on, um, I've installed the bellanieva.ttf. Uh, so now I have access to it in Adobe Illustrator. So in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to go to File, New, and we'll just do a 500 by 500 artboard. And let me just make sure that the RGB is at 300 here. Nope, RGB is at 72. I want it to be at 300 to look really nice on computers. Um, so here uh, we have the artboard. And what I'll do is I'll create some text. So I'll go to the text option in Illustrator and I'll just say Muse for you. Then I'll highlight it. I'll select Command A to highlight it. So here we'll do B I L L, Bella Nieva. There it is. Um, there is the font. Looks good. And I'll just make it a bit larger. We can hold down Shift and drag a corner to resize it. Um, to, yep, yeah, resize it there. And for the font here, yeah, we'll just do. That looks good. I'll just align it in the center there. So with font, it's a little bit different than working with a vector that's already made or um, an SVG image that, that's been downloaded. Uh, once you create the text, you just want to right click on the text and click on create outlines. And that's it. Um, and I know in the first video, I talked about creating a stroke uh, because of the new update or the new version of the SVG draw widget, um, you can set the stroke within the widget. So you don't even need to add a stroke. And you can also change the fill uh, for the text um, in the SVG draw widget. So you can just write text um, and then um, resize it or you know, make it any size you'd like and then right click and then create outlines uh, before or after it's, uh, the text has been written, you right click and create outlines. Um, and then we'll save it. So I'll go to file, export, export as, and let me save it here and I'll say, um, SVG draw with font and down here for the format we want to say SVG click on export and then I'll click OK all right so there we have it so now I'll go into this website here I'll just duplicate this page and I'll double click and we'll just uh, we'll select design mode here so we can see what we're working with and then for select an SVG image We'll just select the SVG draw with font. And there it is. And I can make this uh, this widget here a bit bigger to make the text bigger. 
just like that. And then I can resize the height of the container here. Okay, looks good. And then I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there we have it, Muse for You. Cool. So we didn't uncheck Design Mode. That's why we had both of those there. So you want to make sure before you preview in the, in the browser that Design Mode is not checked. So I'll just uncheck this here. And then um, in the options, we're going to do a delayed draw there. For the stroke color, I'll make it this dark blue. And we'll say 0.5 for the stroke color. And I like a nice thin stroke color. Um, and we can add a fill after draw. So we'll do a light blue. And we'll fade out the stroke after draw as well. And we'll add a fill after draw. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there it goes. Use for you. And then it fills. And the stroke fades out. Looks good. That's the Bill and Nieva font there. So we can do a few more things. If you if your SVG already has a stroke, um, you don't have to enable the stroke color. Um, if you did want your SVG, SVG to redraw, you would have to enable stroke color. Like if you wanted it to redraw on hover or on click or on window resize, then enable stroke color and stroke width would have to be enabled. Um, but if you just wanted it to draw once with your original stroke that you designed in Illustrator, uh, you could do that by disabling these two here. All right, but you can add it, um, you can add a stroke within the widget um, as well. All right, so I think that's it for this video tutorial. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with uh, the SVG draw widget. I think it's really fun way to showcase your animations or your graphics in Adobe Muse. And with the new update, you can now you know do quite a bit. You can add a fill, you can fade out the stroke, um, you can set the stroke width, the stroke color, um, and things like that. And with the SVG draw, you can set at, the, at what point within the browser the SVG will draw. Um, and I might make another video on that, but I, I did go over that in the last video of the SVG draw widget. Um, so I'll preview this one more time. Don't know why I picked Yuck, but I thought this vector was really, really well made and, and looked cool. So there it is. So yeah, I'm here in uh, San Diego. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've just been kind of walking around. Um, yeah, I'll be at the pre-conference on Tuesday and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I'll be doing my labs. My lab is Wednesday. I have one lab on Wednesday and two on Friday. So I'm really excited about that. I've been preparing and I'm excited to go to the different presentations as well. Um, the convention center is pretty amazing, so I'm like really close to it. Uh, but yeah, I won't harp too much on that. Um, I'll let you know how the conference went. Just wanted to make a quick video here while I'm here in San Diego. Um, so thanks for watching. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section uh, are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. Um, I'll leave links to Selfie. Or, uh, yeah, it's Selfie and Graphic Burger, kind of the links that I used in this tutorial. Um, the computer I'm on is a bit different, so the audio quality might be different, and the uh, the screen might be a little bit different. So, uh, but yeah, that's because uh, that's I'm on a different computer here. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.